And now to brighten our mood just a wee bit, what we are going to be watching is uh, Shin Lim. Shin Lim is a uh, talented, very uh, uh, talented is an understatement, a extremely talented individual, uh, a card magician who uh, doesn't do a lot of talking during his act. He instead lets the actions speak louder than words. Now, when Ben and I reacted to Shin Lim's first performance on uh, on a Penn and Teller's uh, uh, Fool Us, we, we actually got a lot of flight because we tried to slow down the video and see how he did certain things. And, like, there were people down in the comments down below saying, you also just shut up and enjoy the, enjoy the video. It's like, we did enjoy the video, but... Why can't we try and slow it down? But we're not going to do that this video because, honestly, I'd rather just sit back and enjoy the videos for what they are. I just like making guesses at like how they could have done it. You know? Oh, me too. I don't necessarily me have too. to slow it down and try to see exactly how they did. Well, yeah, and and there was some stuff I thought we, we actually did pretty good with, but there were people in the comment section just like, people like this are just like a blight on YouTube, and I'm just like, oh, God, here we go. It's like... People just need to enjoy the magic and enjoy the mist behind it. And besides, you didn't even get one thing right about his life. It's like, we never said we were right. That was our best guess, and we, we came to conclusions. Conclusions are not are not facts. Conclusions are just our, uh, our best educated guesses. So, uh, anyway, let's... Uh, Anyway, let's look at uh, the card tricks that uh, good old Shin Lim is going to be doing for us. Um, here we go. Hello, Tyra. Still looks magnificent, by the way. Still looks absolutely beautiful. Just pick one. Anyone. Oh, you can see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you write your name? Okay. Tyra B. Wait, it's on the front now. Wait, oh my god. Wow. Close up magic like this always gets me. <laughs> Listen to the women swooning. And, uh,. Card is blank. Wow. Oh God, no way. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. One card out of the entire deck. The queen. He's like, oh, but I'm not done. I'm not done. <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay. <laughs> what? Wow. It's 
turn them into fucking carb sleeves. Oh, that's balls. That is... Wow. Wow. Uh-oh. I hear commotion. And I see... Hello. Hello, Kyra. Ah! Kyra, we're watching Tyra get uh, freaked the hell out. Awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. It's causing it to... <laughs> Smoke and then That is my name. Oh my god. And my name is inside of like glass or something. It's like sealed inside. No. Gone. <laughs> friggin drop friggin mic drop mic drop mic drop <laughs> that's what you do that's a that's a mic drop right there jeez louise that's pretty kick ass yeah so <laughs> jeez louise i you see stuff like that you see, we're not going to go back and we're not going to do the whole thing. I mean, I can make guesses as to how he did a lot of these because I'm aware of how certain card tricks work. Um, but just the fact that he has the talent to pull it off so seamlessly just shows you how talented The only one I even sort of, like, saw through and had a guess for was when he put it in her hands. Well, and yeah. That's just a matter of misdirection because he obviously put the white card in her hands when he put the card there. You know? Yeah. It's just, it's just a matter of when he did and how he made her not realize that's what he did. Uh, the envelope one can also be answered as well. There was a card already. It was one of the white cards that was already in there. And uh, he reached down. He got it. He pulled out the second envelope, opened it up, and he pulled it out from the bottom, putting it between his finger like this. Mm. And then... The switch happens so fast, I think, when he flips it around, it looks like the card that she signed, but instead but instead the card that he that was in there the whole time was a blank one that he swapped out with uh, with his sleight of hand, which his sleight of hand is wicked. I mean, jeez, how fast he how fast he can do that. Mm -hmm. Just just like snap of his like not even a snap of the fingers, it's like even faster than that. The guy was a former concert trained pianist before uh, before he actually developed carpal tunnel and actually had to give it up, but decided uh, to you know keep up with the magic. And he only pra he's only practiced magic I think for like eight years, which eight years. Well done, well done. That's another thing. It's like I talk about stuff I would love to get into doing, and I I would need to do some of it because I'm never gonna end up doing anything cool like that that I want to do if I don't get on it. Well, you never so I was know. Like I, mean, I would like to train to do UFC. I would like to do magic tricks. <laughs> Trying to do UFC. Like you can, well, you have to pick though, because you can only master like one or two things in your life usually, unless you're just a god, pretty much at mastering things like well, some people are. As long as you don't go full CM Punk. CM Punk has had how many years to get good at MMA and is still like amateur at best. Yeah, I don't know. He's had two fights and he's gotten owned both times. Hmm. And the thing, the thing about it is CM Punk. He got into it when he was like thirty-seven. Yeah, you're gonna if you get into it now, you get into it a lot sooner, and you actually would have time to develop, and you'd still have some good years left. Mm. And besides, you haven't been in very many fights, so you don't have very much damage. So, yeah, as far as I know, I don't have anything bad going for me besides the fact that I have a loose joint in the shoulder, and my shoulder can be easily dislocated, oh, which same might here. be same here. not fun for me in certain uh, grounds situations where somebody yeah. might accidentally pop my shoulder out trying to make me submit. Yeah. <laughs> and it, be could, like, ah! it could be bad. It could be very bad. <laughs> so, anyway, that was Shin Lim, and the name of this video was uh, Shin Lim, Magician Blows Minds with Unbelievable Close-Up Magic. The mind that he blew, though, was Tyra Banks, in which uh, Tyra Banks, still a very lovely woman, still very funny. Um, I'm, I was sad when they canceled her uh, her her uh, daytime show. I was just like, oh, but never it, really saw it. But well, I did a lot because my mom was a huge fan, and I watched it. And I, 
I was just a big fan of Tyra Banks. I still am a big fan of Tyra Banks. I think she's still, like, one of the most attractive women in the world. And just... Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, anyway, we hope you all have enjoyed this video. And if you want to watch the original, link is in the description, as always, down below. And uh, we'll see you next time, everybody. Take care.